really cold. It, the high is 45 Fahrenheit and the night's low is 27 Fahrenheit and it's 20 mile per hour winds. It's so cold. Wait. Let me see it. Whoa, with a crazy fire eye. Yeah, uh, it's an eye. He can see where it's going and, and, and can make it look fine because it's on fire. <laughs> I <laughs> like it. Hello, everyone. We are getting ready for quiet time. It's already three. Everybody's been driving nuts today. Just distracting each other, distracting us. Jax is taking forever with his schoolwork. Lots of redos this week. I don't know if he's just already on summer vacation in his mind. He's certainly been sleeping in, or he's just genuinely struggling with what we're doing. It doesn't seem like it because when I go over things, they're not that bad. Oh, and the world's crooked, or no, that's the rug. It's always the rug. The rug is always crooked. Yeah. So I've been waiting to come up here for him to edit a paragraph he wrote about owl poop. <laughs> no, not the owl poop one. It was, what was it? It was eight. food chains. I let him off the hook on the owl poop one because I'm just over today. He's going to get a rude awakening when he has to write like twice as much as he does right now. I'm really trying to buckle down on that and get him trained in Google Docs so he can handle word processors. Anyway, I finished my grades last night. Let me see if you can see. I look at my sh over my shoulder in the mirror. Ta-da! I did put a little bit of lavender in. It doesn't, it's hard to make my hair lavender. Even though it's almost white, it just instantly fades. It's looking a little gray. I almost have to over dye it to a purple. But the good thing about lavender is it fades out so, so fast. I don't have to like bleach it out. So this is a nice gentle hair color for me. And I'm gonna be going into a white and I just need to keep, well not white, but like grayish. I need to keep my hair light for now. I will have to touch up the roots in three weeks. Excuse me, for scratching my nose. Because, I mean, they do start to grow in and dark blonde looks quite dark against white. But I will be delicately going in and painting it with my hair brush, paint brush, I don't know, dye brush, what do you call those? so that I don't get it on this part. So having lavender on this part is great. It fades out so fast. I do have the color of this walls <laughs> that I bought. I've never really had too much trouble with blue fading out. It does go green and then fades the rest of the way. I feel like I can mostly shampoo that one out and maybe just let the hair dye, the bleach touch it for a minute or two. But yeah, for the next couple months, I really want to be gentle with the hair that broke like all around here where I already had shorter bangs. That's where the length. It seems about the same 
around the back where I haven't bleached it as much. And it does have a little pink left in there, but yeah, I'm happy. I will live with this for three weeks. I think I'm gonna redo these front ones. This one, maybe tonight. And then in a week, I'll redo these. I have to do those every week or two just because there's so many tiny little baby hairs that pop out and they annoy me and I'd rather have them back in there. But that's my hair updates. I've just been in a homeschool world today and I wasn't working with Sebastian on any school so he's extra unruly and it's really cold. It, the high is 45 Fahrenheit and the night flow is 27 Fahrenheit and it's 20 mile per hour winds. It's so cold. I mean, without the wind, I've been dealing with that temperature on walks for a while, but with the wind, it's the kind of day where I just stay in and do an indoor jog. So that's what I'll be doing. Yay, fun. We're gonna maybe go to the mall tomorrow, but we'll have to wake up early because it is spring break and there might be more people. So we wanna do exercise portion before things open at 11 and then anything that we go into the stores to do will have to be fairly quick anyway that's all I have to say for right now so I'm just going to say I'll see you on the other side of quiet time I've just been cleaning. I just had Sebastian try on all his swim clothes to see what I need to reorder in a bigger size. And it looks like just his swim pants that I like to use at the beach for him because he's very pale and has eczema. I don't like to have to put sunscreen on him every five seconds. So we do swim pants there that have SP UV protection. They're expensive. They're like, 20 to 30 dollars but it's worth it it's worth it and he usually gets two years wear out of him but yeah i need to order that jack still needs to try on his stuff i got a ziggy here that you cannot see very well he's grumpy because dan is in the garage but i guess i talked to you before quiet time i assume so i'm tired i don't remember but my time was okay. He tries his hardest not to get rest. Like he was curled up on me and I think he started to get really drowsy. And so he made himself sit straight up and like just forcing himself not to relax because heaven forbid he take a nap. But we came down, I went downstairs until dinner to work on my miniature kit and I worked on a little potted plant. And then we 
got a delivery of dinner of burgers from down the street. So a veggie burger for me. The kids split an order of chicken strips and my husband just gets a burger. We get fries and tots to share. Then, didn't do much. I didn't want to go back down because the dog was grumpy. I didn't want to leave him with Sebastian. So I just sat at my computer, kind of sort of looking more just a simple black jersey, like maxi dress, tank maxi dress. I've got a black and gray one that just fits me so perfect. It's a million years old. I think I got it when Jax was like three. He's 11 now. It's got a hole in it that's teeny tiny and I put some fray check on it so it wouldn't get bigger, but I still wear it. I wish I could find that in just multiple colors, especially black, because it's like fitted and then loose. And it's not too big and it doesn't look frumpy on me like everything does. So I've been looking everywhere. Most sites are just too trendy and everything is horrible. It looks like scrubs and moo-moos and massive giant shirts and micro dresses that I, my legs are not good enough for that. I struggle to even wear shorts. So yeah, then I was looking at Amazon. I was like, surely somebody has something on Amazon. And I did see some that looked just like what I wanted, but they don't come in extra small. The size small is four to six. I'm a zero. And even if I look and they say they run small and maybe that would fit me, people say the quality's terrible or it's see-through. I can't wear it if it's see-through. What am I gonna do? Wear two dresses in the summer, it gets hot. <laughs> so yeah, no luck on there and I just feel annoyed and stressed out and everybody's been at each other all day long. I'm just hopefully tonight the chill time will chill me out. But yeah, I'm done braiding, so I don't have to do that. Uh, we're trying to do groceries for tomorrow. Trying is the key word. Midday, Dan said I should do it for a Friday delivery instead of Saturday because we're running out of food. Like the staples that we get from Walmart, but the order wouldn't go through and it wouldn't go through and it wouldn't go through. It's errors, errors, errors. So I finally went on their chat and they make give you all of your details in the world to verify your account. I'm like, I just want to know if your site's not working. And so after all that info, they're like, please hold. And then they're like, we tried to submit your order and we couldn't either. We're escalating this to tech support. We'll, we'll hear back through email. Never did. But eventually, an hour later, after losing my time slot three times, I finally was able to do it, except it went to a different location. Like, your time slots keep there's only so many per location. There's like maybe two or three Walmarts that I'm in the delivery zone for, at least two. And it switched locations and then half my cart was out of stock. Whatever location it went to doesn't have raspberries or zucchini or lettuce or radishes. <laughs> like, I've gotten a lot of it back on there at first. It wouldn't let me do like any of those things. I also have like a shelving unit, one of those really cheap plastic ones with the poles and the shelves. I want to put that in the closet downstairs. So I decided I'm going to do it sooner than later. So I had, I got that back on. I think I got just showed back on. I was just trying to find like not the neon green and orange and blue ones, but like the more pure ones, the gentle ones on the hand that are clear those kept being out of stock suddenly. I think there's a few more things that I need to try and re-add. And our oat milk is a no-go, so I might run out of that. We already have ours open and it only lasts like seven to 10 days. We might be able to squeak by, but I don't have a backup. So I need to finish up groceries tonight, that's for sure. I already forgot, so I'm glad I was talking to you. That reminded me, thank you. Yeah, that's the rest of my day. But in terms of groceries, I'm probably going to try to wake up early because we also want to go to the mall. And because it's spring break still, 
I don't anticipate staying too long after everything's open. I know Jax does want to go into GameStop. I know I'll be tempted to look in a clothes store too, but that typically means me walking through it very fast for two minutes, deciding everything is horrible and leaving. <laughs> so yeah, we might spend like 20 minutes at the mall after it's open. That might be 20 minutes too long because I get really anxious when there's a lot of people, especially kids not wearing their masks, teenagers, their masks under their noses. I will fully take us out of a shop if somebody walks in with their masks hanging too low. We did that last week at GameStop and the kids were like a little bit shocked. They're like, are we just leaving without getting my gift certificate? I'm like, we're gonna stand out here till those two people with their noses sticking out leave. And as soon as they left, we went back in. So yeah, if I can get to the mall early, we can get our exercise in and then tackle things. If we don't wake up in time, we're just not going. We'll go next week when it's not spring break. I will be there because I've gotta go on Monday, but they will not be there with me. I'm gonna have to get them their lunch and head out or have them feed each other or have my husband feed them and maybe I will take a walk around the mall. It's my, I think it's still gonna be cold and it's supposed to rain all week because April sucks. It's one of my least favorite months here after all the winter ones. It's gonna be 27 tonight. It already feels like 31 right now, the wind chill not winter anymore, Virginia. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go and get changed to fill that humidifier because we need it again because it's freaking winter again. And yeah. What is that dog doing? What are you doing? He's gonna stop as soon as I film him. Hold on. Of course he stopped. He's doing some weird thing that he likes to do where he puts his teeth on one of the bars and his lip gets pushed up so it's just like <laughs> okay sorry i didn't mean to laugh at you that was like the silliest face ever all right now for real i'm gonna say good night sorry this video is about nothing at all it's just what it was lots of school and nothingness and i feel i'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed and like unproductive and don't like it but yeah gotta go good night stay safe and be kind don't forget wash your hands